It's Tory MP Andrea Jenkins. She sings and gives the finger. But why did she want to become an MP? It was losing my dad. My dad was sort of my hero, really. I don't have any political heroes. My dad was my hero. Um, he come from quite a, a challenging background, really, and so through adversity, you know, he really showed strength and, and hope, really. And um, he went into our local hospital for just a routine operation. Training doctors practiced on him for two and a half hours, and he caught MRSA, the hospital infection, and died. And that was a real big shock to our family. So then my mum and I joined the charity MRSA Action and got involved in the health side. And then I decided, look, why not just sort of um, put my money where my mouth is, stand for Parliament, really see if I can shake things up in a positive manner and make sure sort of patient safety and patient care is the heart of the NHS. So that's why I'm here, really. So you joined the Tories. You wanted to help the NHS and patients, so you became a Tory MP. Surely that's an oxymoron. Anyway, Jenkins is an MP for Morley and Outwood, just below Leeds. So she must have been delighted when she heard this news back in 2020. I'm delighted that as part of the 40 new hospitals, we're able to announce the new hospital in Leeds. And when I visited last year, along with Andrew Jenkins and Stuart Andrew, uh, I saw the plans for the new hospital, which are incredibly exciting. I want to thank the local NHS leadership, Julian Hartley, who's played such a strong role, uh, and the local MPs who've worked to make this happen. And it's wonderful to be able to confirm the funding today. So I wonder how she feels about the fact that nothing has been built in Leeds and the 40 new hospitals promised by Johnson have turned out to be an utter sham. Dr John Poutis writes this for the Morning Star, saying, Promises made about the new hospitals programme started to look shaky from the outset. Investigations by the BBC and Full Fact revealed that of the 40 new hospitals, 22 were in fact rebuilding projects. 12 were new wings within existing hospitals. Three involved rebuilding non-urgent care hospitals and only three were actually new hospitals in the commonly understood sense. Click here for Andrea Jenkins in Foreign Aid versus Animal Welfare.